Good morning, guys. It is, what is it, Monday? Tuesday? I don't know, I'm always losing track of time. Oh. Coming in hot, come here. Wanna say hi to the camera? No? All right, whatever. Anyways, what I was thinking, free time today, a little bit extra free time, so what I was thinking was, I will take you guys thrifting with me because I haven't gone thrifting in a really long time. Thrifting is one of my favorite pastimes. I like going thrifting just because you can find interesting pieces for your closet, even antiques for your home, and just like different things to, you know, style with and enjoy and give a second life to. And ever since I was younger, my mom always took me thrifting so I could find different pieces. And that's where I actually got inspiration from early on about fashion through her. So I enjoy thrifting very much. I find that, that you guys can find a lot of good pieces for your wardrobe for a really, really big bargain. That's what we're going to get into today. I think we're going to, I'm going to just wrap up my computer work real quick. And then, yeah, we're going to roll out and go hit a couple spots. I think that now the pandemic is kind of like over, whatever that means, I think that a bunch of them have opened back up because when COVID was heavy, all the thrift stores, all the Salvation Armies, all that pretty much shut down just as protocol and as precaution. But now that everything is back open, I'm excited to go back and see if I can find anything good. So. We're gonna go check because that is definitely a good spot if you guys like vintage t-shirts, if you guys like just pretty much anything. But you always gotta go in with an open mind just because a lot of these things obviously aren't brand new. They are pre-owned, they had a life before you. So you just gotta go in open-minded and you know, find some cool gems. Let's get into today's fit of the day. Break it down and let's roll out. All right guys, so today I wanted to go for a little bit more of a relaxed fit. It's just Weather is breezier and honestly, I just don't feel like being in very, very restricted clothes today. Not per usual, because you guys know that I like my fitted clothes, but I just want to be a little bit more cozy, but semi put together. So rocking my vintage Notorious B.I.G. t-shirt, wearing my soon to be announced custom denim, rocking the flares. You guys saw me wearing these with my Saint Laurent Luca boots in the last vlog. And I'm also wearing them with my Vans Vault slip-on, the real psychedelic ones. So that is today's fit. Oreo is in his typical classic tuxedo, right? Right. So I'm gonna go make myself a coffee. I'm gonna get all my stuff together and then we're gonna roll out. Hopefully we find some good pieces, so let's get into it. Also, I don't want you guys to think that I forgot. So last weekend when we did go to Celine to get our pants altered, I did want to ask about the cologne to see if any updates have actually happened in the sense of like fixing the longevity of the men's cologne. And the essay let me know that pretty much what it is is that the fragrance isn't supposed to last as strong as some of the other fragrances all day, which I don't really agree with, but I still do really love the scent of it. She did break it down as it's supposed to be something that's really, really subtle that you don't really smell all the time or throughout the day. Just something like if somebody does come in and hug you or something like that, that they do get that like natural whiff, if you will. I don't know. I still do really love the night clubbing. So that's why I took a sample of this, just to uh, keep smelling it and see if I do like it over time as it kind of like fades and does its own thing. And I did check out the black tie because that is one of their best sellers. Honestly, I didn't really like black tie. I really don't like reptile, but out of all of them, if I'm gonna pick one, I'm definitely gonna pick the night clubbing. So I definitely suggest this one if anybody is looking for a good smelling fragrance. I don't think that it lasts very long, but if it's something that you don't care that it's just, something that's just extremely subtle and you can't smell it but other people can smell it then i guess that's a good fragrance for you probably gonna pick up a bottle but it wouldn't be honestly my first choice i would still probably go with like an mfk baccarat or something along those lines just because i like something that i i can enjoy all day and that other people can enjoy while i'm out and about that's just my two cents now let's roll on with this vlog all right guys so i'm going into thrift store number one one of my favorites just because I always find some pretty good vintage stuff here. So let's go. This is the designer rack. So sometimes you can find some good stuff in, in between these guys. 
I'm over here crashing my cart. So literally out of all of that, I only found one shirt. One Gap shirt. Hopefully you guys can hear me because I pulled my mask down just for a little bit, but I'm gonna see out of the rest of the rooms if there's anything else that I can find, but I literally searched through all of this. But that's pretty much part of it. Like, as a thrifter, you go through it and you see all of the old-fashioned do's and don'ts and maybe you get lucky and find a new piece so I'm gonna keep going see if I find anything else and we'll touch back in so I think I might have struck an out today but I think I'm gonna hit one more spot that I know of that I always find vintage t-shirts because I always look for vintage tees for amber but I think I struck out today I'm gonna definitely try this gap shirt on though because I really like the wash so I love the wash but I wish that the these were just a little bit more tapered, but the wash is really nice. But yeah, the sleeves are a little too wide for me, but I definitely think that this wash is sick. It's really nice, but I think I'm gonna pass. We'll head off to the next spot. All right, so that was a strikeout. They didn't really have anything in this one, so I'm gonna go over to the next spot that I know of that has some good stuff that I've gotten lucky with, like Vintage t-shirts for Amber, but we'll touch back in. All right guys, so that was kind of a bust, but it happens, it's part of it. It's part of thrifting and it's just part of the whole hunt, the thrill of the hunt. Going, you find a piece and then you absolutely end up falling in love because you got super lucky. But struck out here, we're gonna go hit a second one now that hopefully has some good vintage pieces, vintage t-shirts because I always find them there. But the only thing that I will say is that they have started upping the price because last time, a couple of months ago, I had stopped in. And I think they got kind of started catching on to people going in and finding vintage t-shirts and I guess reselling them so they've started just like pricing t-shirts at whatever they want so we'll see maybe I get lucky but I'm not paying no crazy price for a t-shirt at a thrift store it's just my two cents before we roll out I have to fill up spooky because we're about halfway on the tank but I don't know if anybody knows but here's a pro tip if you guys have a BJ's card, you guys can hit BJ's and they have the gas cheaper for members. If anybody doesn't know, hit BJ's and get your gas cheaper. Round two, let's see if I get lucky and find any cool vintage pieces. Sometimes I get lucky and I find some vintage tees, but who knows. I got a crazy selection now. Yeah, normally I find stuff, but like today, I'm just like completely striking out and I can't seem to find anything but let me check one more little section that they have and see if I get lucky but again striking out to the guys sucks so I just came across this vintage chunk for 50 bucks so I'm gonna pick this up and then clean it up the thing is sick it's a little rusty but I could probably clean all that up I'll show you guys the details when I take it home though Come on. All right, guys, so I just got home and I just want you guys to see how beautiful this find was because I really did not expect to find such a beautiful vintage trunk after all the strikeouts we made. Not, not you guys, just me, but I'm going to close this up. I want you guys to see how crazy this thing is. It's a vintage steamer trunk. You know, just like stumble upon these things every day. So I couldn't leave it behind and for 40 bucks, yeah, you can't beat this. Has a little bit of rust in like some of the spots, but like, what are you gonna do? I'll probably either clean it up or just leave it as is just because it has such beautiful character to it. But isn't that just something crazy? I want you guys just to see how big this thing is too. Look how giant this thing is. So sick. I'll show you guys the inside. Inside is a little bit more aged, but still like in pretty 
amazing condition and I'll probably just end up using this as a table and also like storage. I could just put some stuff in here, but yeah, the print of the inside is, I guess it looks like, like stone almost. Just has a couple of little like nicks and scratches all over it, but what are you gonna do? This is vintage, it's old, it's beautiful, has age and character to it, and I'm happy to add it to my furniture collection. I'm gonna see what I do with it, but I do think I'm gonna end up using this as a table. But yeah, this was a crazy find. I really did not expect to find this bad boy. But yeah, that's kind of the beauty of thrifting and going vintage shopping. You end up finding things that you don't really know or didn't really expect to find. So I think that after going out and expecting to find some clothing, I think that I made out pretty good. I think I got something that I'm gonna have for a long time and yeah, it's gonna get some type of use. It's aesthetically cool to look at and I like it. <sighs> All right guys, so moral of the story is thrifting is awesome. If you have the patience to do it, if you have a free day and you just wanna go see what you know, what you can score, what you can find, something cool, and you have open mind to just looking through tons and tons of stuff, yeah, why not? And you can always just find stuff for crazy low prices and just cool items like who knew i was gonna find that trunk like i literally didn't know at the bitter end that i was gonna find that trunk before i left that store so that is gonna wrap this vlog up i hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys go out there and thrift vintage shop check out a bunch of different stores drop me some comments below letting me know if you guys go thrifting if you guys go hunting for vintage pieces vintage clothing vintage furniture just cool stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have found, some of your best finds. As always, if you are new to this channel, my name is Ariel. I do luxury fashion content. If you enjoy content like this, I'd very much appreciate it. If you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, drop me some comments below as stated before, letting me know what you guys thought of this video. And also hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my content that I drop every single week. And also, if you aren't already following me on Instagram, definitely check me out on IG for daily fit picks and reels at ariel.rosado29. And I will see all of you guys in the next vlog, probably sometime later this week. So stay safe, guys. See you then.